Wood Curl Roses. Four come in a pack. Guess where you can get these? At Dollar Tree in the floral section. I may be a little obsessed with these. What have I got going on for you for today? Well, I'm bringing to you some genius ways that you can incorporate these here wood curled roses into DIYs other than just gluing them onto a plaque. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some DIYing using some wood flowers. Yes, please. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so getting started with this first DIY, I'm using a cake board. This is one that you can get from Dollar Tree. It's 10 by 14 inches. I picked this because it is a very durable cardboard. With this cardboard, I am going to take one of those letters that you all see in my intros and outros that so many of you ask me if I DIY'd. I absolutely did not DIY these. These are a farmhouse letter that you can find at Hobby Lobby. Typically they're $39.99, but you wanna wait for the tabletop sales to come about, which is about every other week, and you can get them for $19.99 a piece. And so that is where I got them, but because I wanna do my initial for this DIY, I thought that this was perfect to trace onto this cardboard, and I wanted a larger size letter. Now, if you want to do this yourself, you can very easily Google a letter on Google Image Search, print it out, cut it out, and trace it onto cardboard. Using a straight edge razor, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my letter out. Now, do you need to use the cake board? Absolutely not. It was just what I had in my stash, so I'm using it. You can use Dollar Tree's triple display board or even the foam board if you'd like. I've dug into my stash, picked out a couple, yep, that's felt, and I'm going with a neutral color. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this on. If you wanna use a Mod Podge, you can do that, but because of time, I kinda wanna keep this project moving, so I'm gonna go with hot glue. I may or may not have taken stock in these wood curled roses. I'm a little bit obsessed with them, but in my defense, I picked up so many because I'm bringing to you three amazing DIYs using them. These wood roses, they're gonna go on the front of this B. Now, I put the felt there because I didn't want the cardboard or the silver from the board or whatever it is that you're using to do this to show through the flowers because obviously the flowers aren't going to completely cover it up. So I wanted to disguise the back part of this as much as I could. And so using this neutral felt I think is gonna do just the trick. So I'm just gonna hot glue away all of these wood curled roses onto the front of this bee. Once I got all the roses glued on, I hadn't anticipated that it was going to cover up the holes in the center of the bee. Because the flowers are on the bigger side and I wanted to glue them together close to kind of cover up the cardboard and the felt, it did in fact close up those holes. So I decided just to go ahead and dig into my stash of flowers and pull out a couple of these daisies to put in place of the holes, which I think worked out better because it really added a whole other element to this piece. But I did feel like it needed some greenery in back of it, so using some of the lamb ears from Dollar Tree, I decided just to add a couple of leaves to each of the flowers, and like that, this DIY is done. As much as I love these flowers, the center of them had orange and it just wasn't working for me. My eye kept going to that orange, so I decided just to take some brown acrylic paint, darken up the center, and with that, yes, I'm a happy camper now. This is one of those decor pieces where you choose. Do you want to hang it on a wall or do you want to stand it up? 
I personally want to stand it up. It's going to go on the mantle of my fireplace. So I'm going to use one of these wood blocks from Dollar Tree by Crafter Square. And I'm just going to hot glue it to the back. Now somebody's going to say, why didn't you finish the back, Kelly? Well, because it's for me. If I was gifting this to somebody, I would most definitely finish off the back of it. But because it's for me, well, I'm not going to because nobody's going to see it. I can't help it. I really do love the outcome of this piece. Not only is this piece an amazing decor piece, but it would make for an amazing gift to give or a wedding gift, a bridal shower gift, a birthday gift. You choose. For this next DIY, you're going to need a couple of Dollar Tree's heart wreath forms. Now, I needed to paint these wreath forms. Some may say, why aren't you just using some spray paint? Yeah, I've got a good answer for that. Walmart in my area doesn't have any spray paint. The cabinets are empty. Lowe's in fact does have it, but I refuse to spend eight to nine dollars for a can of spray paint. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet and brush on some of Waverly's hazelnut because this is the color I need. It's gonna get the job done and I'm saving money using what's in my stash. When painting these, I painted the back side of one wreath form and the front side of the other. Using the wreath form that I painted the back side of it, I'm gonna hot glue these wood curled roses to the inside of it, just like so, kind of gluing it to the wreath form and gluing it to each of the wood flowers just to ensure that the flowers stay good and in place. And when I do this, I'm only gonna fill in the bottom half of this wreath form with these flowers. I wanna say that it took three, maybe four packs of roses to do that. Once I somewhat have the amount of wood flowers in the wreath form that I'm happy with, I'm gonna take the other form, place it on top, kind of capsulating those flowers in there, and I'm gonna zip tie the two forms together, keeping them in place. Now I say somewhat the amount of flowers that I'm happy with because I am going to be adding more. I just really wanted to ensure that I could get the two wreath forms to go together and close with the zip ties. Next up, this burlap ribbon is everything for this DIY. I'm gonna use it to wrap the top half of this heart wreath form with it, keeping just the wood flowers exposed there at the bottom. This has such a country chic feel to it that I am loving. But I do feel like up here at the top, it's missing a little something. So I dug into my Dollar Tree flower stash. These are a real fun, small, I would say filler flower that Dollar Tree is carrying right now. It's got a touch of mauve and green in it that I thought was just the perfect amount of color to add to this DIY, mixed in with a couple of these wood flowers. And maybe a leaf or two of the lamb ears is just the finishing touch that I kind of wanted to stick with the chic feel of this. And so I thought using the burlap ribbon as a hanger would be such a fun, chic, different way of hanging this piece up. This could be a door wreath. It could be a wall decor piece. I'm actually using it on my craft room door because I love it so much. This piece is gorgeous. This does not look like something I DIY'd and it has such a high-end country chic feel to it. For this DIY, you're going to need two bunches of the white decorative nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I am going to wrap another one of those heart wire wreath forms from mm -hmm, Dollar Tree with this rope. Now, when wrapping a wreath form like this, you don't want to go around the wreath form from the center to the outside because you're going to get a very thick, uneven look. But if you take this rope and you just kind of trace the form itself and continue to do that, starting with one half of the form, then working your way to the other half, you are going to get a beautiful, flawless outcome. 
When wrapping a wreath form like this, it is best to do it in pieces and not try to keep your rope all in one piece. You're gonna get a better outcome that way and you're gonna save on rope because you're not covering the back side of the wreath form. And so it's kind of a win-win. This rope does fray a bit on the ends that you cut, but I wasn't super worried about that because I knew that once I got it all glued together just by taking a small piece of rope and covering up those edges, it would finish this off and cover up all that fraying. Look at how awesome this rope looks. Again, I'm gonna say that this piece too has a very country chic feel to it, but it needs some decorative finishing touches. And so to this wreath, I am going to incorporate, yes, none other than the wood curled roses because that is exactly what it needs. Simple, less is more with a DIY like this. I really, really love the simplicity of this piece. I went with the burlap ribbon for the hanger. Those embellishments were the perfect finishing touch. This is a quick, easy, budget-friendly DIY with an outcome that is absolutely gorgeous. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Diane, who is bringing to us her recreation of my Dollar Tree sled that I did last Christmas. Diane, I am absolutely loving your spin and your twist on this DIY. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. She likes that one. <laughs> she likes it. Oh, she's licking her lips now. <laughs> when I pass the cookie. She likes that one. Oh, she's liking. If she likes it, then she likes it. Yes, agree. Strawberry basil. Winnie, get up. She likes it. Smells good, Winnie. She doesn't. She doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. She does not like that one. Good job, Winnie. When I did these DIYs, I really pulled inspiration from the wood flowers and really just kind of created around them. And I love what I came up with. I hope you all enjoyed the three DIYs that I came up with using these wood roses from Dollar Tree in the floral section. Pick some up, you're getting four in a pack, you need a handful of them. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please.